here welcome to my channel um, if you are keeping up with my monthly favorites you probably noticed that I did not post anything for the month of September and I am not um, there was nothing really exciting or new that I was using or trying that I thought it was worth sharing and I was not gonna just make things up just to make a video because um, doesn't make sense um, so this is gonna be my favorites of the month of October video and it is so funny because I haven't been teaching for two months already um, because I need to stop exercising because I went through IVF and we're just being extra 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 careful and um, so I've been home a lot a lot and I've been catching up with stuff and it's funny because I was as I'm gathering my items for this video you can totally tell that it's like more like a, a house you know mom's you know stay home mom kind of stuff um, but I still hope that you guys can take some something you know from this video uh, with no further ado my first item is photo albums because I always like the idea of making photo albums of my trips and it just never happens because it just takes so long to put an album together and I have done some in the past using you know those websites online but I was never crazy about the quality of the paper or the album themselves and one of my students that we became close she did this album she's really good at it Lisa Mwah. this is for you um, and she was showing me and I was like oh my gosh so she sent me the link of the online place that she used I don't know if it's exactly the same one that I used but it's the same style of albums and I'm gonna show you what's the difference so these ones um, they are square they have a hard um, cover which I love it's not that you know you cannot fold or anything and when you open like the pages are super thick it's more like a quality of like a wedding album and um, it opens like flat which is awesome so we don't have the fold be you know between one and other page and I absolutely love that um, and this is the album that I did for Sebastian's first year it was just like not necessarily the best pictures but it's his first so um, for instance my first trip to Puerto Rico first trip to Las Vegas um, first Easter which I absolutely love those pictures and the quality of the pictures themselves are awesome um, I also found that because it's a very simple book like very simple there's no like tags or colors there's not like embellishments or anything and it's kind of more my style because the other thing would just overwhelm me so much so um this is a very 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 easy website to use and the name of it after all this is uh zeno which is like literally three letters z n o um and it's they call it this one little black book um so I did this one first and then now through this two months that I'm here, I was like, I'm going to make some books. I'm going to, you know, catch up with the trips. So I just order and I just got these two beautiful books. Um, this time around, I ordered the book from our trip to Rincon, Puerto Rico, which was when Sebastian was four months old and he turned to like last month. So it's been a while I you know been needing to make these and this one is from a photo shoot we just got done uh, for his second birthday so guys I can't tell you how awesome these are so if you are like me that you have all these pictures and you keep promising yourself that you're gonna make photo albums of them and you never got around them look up this website zno.com I'm going to post the link down below the description of this video. Uh, try them out. Again, super easy, super user friendly. If you don't like all the embellishments and the colors and the themes, this is for you. And it just looks classy, you know. And you can add text. Um, you can add color. You can add all of that. But 
I just don't. So this just makes it much easier. And um, yeah, but that's it. So books, <laughs> family photo albums. It's um, my first item of this month. And my second one, you're gonna laugh at me. You're totally gonna laugh. Let me get it. So my second item of this month, and I'm telling you, you're gonna laugh, is a Dyson. It is a um, vacuum cleaner. What? <laughs> I know, I, and I'm trying to, I did like it differently. I was not just sitting on a chair and look at the camera because I want to make sure that you guys can see everything that I'm gonna show today. Yeah. And it's so funny because I feel like things that you want and you wish for when you're 20s are different than when you're 20, you know, 25 and then before you get married and then you have a house and you have a children and you have a dog. A good vacuum is so important and a good vacuum that's cordless, that it's powerful and it's gonna suck all the hair that your dog leave behind is amazing. So I had, I was using just like a very good vacuum cleaner that we got on our, for a wedding that was on my registry and that was, we got married almost 10 years ago and it was just clunky and heavy it was really good but it was just clunky and heavy and was just starting to make weird noises and then we were down to buying a new vacuum and my husband because he's super high tech he likes everything that is like high tech less technology and all that he's like why don't we get a dice and i'm like what so he showed me what it was and i was like I'm always like very concerned about spending too much on things that are not necessary. And I was like, babe, this is so expensive. You can buy like two or three vacuums depending on what you pick. And he's like, no, but this is this and that and that. And then um, they have these things here, their attachments. So I have one for hardwood floors and one for, um, for carpet. And they are very good for dog hair. Um, anyway, so there's like a bazillion attachments. I'm gonna post a picture showing, you know, all the attachments that comes with. So this comes with like all the attachments and the different floors and all of that. And it comes like you just charge it. You literally just charge it on the wall. It's super easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my god, I touched by mistake. <laughs> ah, I was not planning to do that. So anyway, he's like, let's get a Dyson, let's get a Dyson, it's a good investment. I was like, okay. So we got a Dyson and I was kicking myself for not getting a Dyson like before. Like I was just dragged to vacuum my house and now I was just like, okay, you know, like every day, yeah, let me get back to this because I don't. Like maybe every other, every two days, depending on, depending on how things are and what we did and if we spend that much time at home. But anyways, um, so this is amazing. I'm gonna post a link down below. Check it out. I know you're gonna be so scared of the price. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, but it's not, I promise you. And it's, the funny thing is that I had this same conversation with three other friends of mine that have small kids and stuff. And I convinced one of them to get a Dyson and the other one already had, and we all like agree. It, we're like Dyson moms, which is really funny. But so this is another of like a household item that I wanted to share with you. Um, if you have a Dyson, let me know how much you love it down below or if there's anything that you don't. And I think that's it. Let's go to the next item because you're probably still laughing at me. <laughs> My fourth item this month is also like a mommy thing. Um, it's a cookbook. Um, if you have watched the my last videos um, that I started posting with um, the IVF and getting healthier for this pregnancy and um, my last one that was like an introduction to my new recipe series um, you already know Dr. Nicole she is the owner of um, Integrative Wellness Group here in Belmar, New Jersey she's awesome and she also has a cookbook this woman wears many hats. So I got myself a copy because I was like, well, let's see what it is. And I really, really like it and I really recommend. And that's why this is actually on my favorites um, of this month. Um, it's called Eat For Your Gut. You can find it on Amazon. I'm gonna post a link below as well. It's a paleo inspired guide, guide to decreasing inflammation, healing the gut and managing autoimmunity. Um, you can also find more information on eatforyourgut.com 
and what I like the most about this book it's like clean eating and it's extremely simple to cook um, I don't know I think that's it like there's nothing weird you know crazy stuff um, the other day I made her Moroccan chicken it was amazing um, I have made um, this dressing dip thing that she makes it's awesome I feel like I kind of run out of ideas and when you go online to look for stuff you're like oh sometimes you get overwhelmed so I do like to every now and then just leave a, a easy cookbook out I'm not saying that I just use hers but I like to leave one out you know to get inspired and some get some ideas so even like for side dishes and all that so, so this is my third item and I have two more to share with you all right, so let's talk about some fashion here <laughs> um, from all this mommy stuff because my last item is also like a household item. Um, so I just got these and I absolutely love them. They are rain boots. Um, I've had a few different ones. I do have a few different ones actually. Um, and two of them, including a pair of Hunter boots, um, they hurt my heel. I don't know if you guys ever had the same problem you know with uh with um uh rain boots they just hurt my heel they kind of like i don't know dig into it and and i cannot wear it anymore after a few times you of you know using it so these are uh sperry's um they're just waterproof rubber boots and i love um the color first of all I was looking for something that would go with anything um, and brown and black they do um, the other thing that I love about this boot is the cut see like it has that up it's like higher on the front and go lower on the back um, I really like the height because it's not super tall um, my hunter ones are like that they're higher but I wanted something a little easier and more like casual so these ones kind of fit exactly what I was looking for and the other thing is that they are kind of like a felt inside and because I like when they have like a sort of a cush or some something that makes your feet warm um, and this one is thinner than I would usually look for but when I try them on, they're super, 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 super warm. So, I mean, I don't have much to say about it because it's just um, rain boots. But I just wanted to bring it out there because if you're looking for new boots and, you know, sometimes if we are used to one specific brand and we don't look, you know, don't spread our horizons, um, Sometimes you don't, you know, ended up not finding what you really want. And I actually don't even own any Sperry shoes, but um, they did have other um, styles, and I did try other ones, and they were all really cute and like the colors, and it was just classy. If you're more like that, if you're not crazy about the super colorful stuff or more like plasticky looking, um, yeah, check out Sperry. And I mean, they have, you know, their stuff is like good quality. They're known for that too. But um, I just like the style. So um, I've worn them and they're comfortable and they're not digging on my heel, which I'm really excited about. So this is my item number four, a little bit more personal, <laughs> finally. Um, but my last one you're going to see is a household again. Ready? So, ta da! <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. So this is my new absolute favorite humidifier. It's getting really dry now uh, to change, with the change of the seasons. It is beginning of November, so I'm doing you know the video about October. And the air changed, um, and it got cooler, and then we need to turn the heat on, and it's just like everybody has their noses very dry I feel like now and humidifiers are a must um, a must if you live in places like I do you cannot just like open the window let fresh air come in so this I don't even know the brand I got it on Amazon like everything most of everything in my life um, by just 
by reading reviews and I love it. Few things that I was looking for because I first got this for Sebastian's room. He had one, but every time that the water will run low, a light will go on, like a really bright light and he will wake up at night. So and they advertise it as a night light, but Sebastian sleeps in a peach black dark room and when the light goes on it just scares him and wakes him up. So I just made sure that this one didn't have any weird lights and it doesn't. It's just like a little teeny teeny one here just to make you know that you know that it's on. Um, another requirement that I had is that the tank was huge so I didn't need to fill the tank like every single day and this one lasts depending on how, um, how the intensity of the vapor is like it lasts up to three days which is awesome. Another thing that I do not like about most of the humidifiers is the, um, the filter. It gets pretty gross and this one doesn't have a filter, which is awesome. One more thing that I was looking for is something that I can use uh, essential uh, oils. This one has a little drawer on one of the sides here and has a little piece of felt, something like that, and you can just put drops of essential oils and put it back so you don't need you're not doing like in the water so that you can use this thing, essential oils as well and the most important thing was the noise I wanted something that when you turn on you barely hear it no noise is amazing so I hope you like these items let me know uh, down below if you have any of these or if you purchase them um, if you try them at your house, um, if you do get the cookbook, um, if you have a favorite recipe. And uh, I'll see you next month. Mwah! Thank you so much for watching. And one more thing before you go. Uh, before you actually go, please like this video and share it with your friends. And I will be coming back with choreo videos soon, soon, soon. So if you have any requests, just also shoot me a message. Mwah! Bye! Thank you.